Are you wondering how to use Boolean operators on LinkedIn to find your ideal clients? If so, you are in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. What makes LinkedIn more powerful than most other social media platforms is its search box, because you basically have access to millions of profiles at your fingertips. And your only job is to refine down the search results to find your perfect fit clients. So today we're going to look at the Boolean operators and or not quotation marks and parentheses and how you can use those to narrow down the search results to find the people you're looking for. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, my love, let me show you how these operators work one by one. So let's get started with the first operator, which is or, and it means either. Whenever you use this operator, you're telling LinkedIn, show me all profiles that have either this or that keywords in them. For example, if I'm saying marketing or advertising, I'm telling LinkedIn, I'm looking for all profiles that have one of these keywords in them. So the profiles don't have to have both keywords in one profile, as long as it has marketing or advertising, LinkedIn will deliver this in the search results. So here's another example, marketing or advertising or AI. As long as one of these keywords is on a profile, it's gonna be delivered in the results. Again, it doesn't have to have all three keywords in one profile. As long as it, for example, has AI on it, it's gonna be delivered in the search results. So this is our first operator. And very, very important, I need to highlight that you must, must always use Boolean operators in all caps. So you can see that we have a capital OR. If it is not in all caps, it's not gonna work on LinkedIn. So one of the most common mistakes I can see people make. So make sure you're always capitalizing your Boolean operators, OR and all the others. So let's get into the second one, which is AND. And whenever you use this on LinkedIn, you're telling the platform, show me all profiles that have this and that keywords in them. So both, I want both keywords on one profile. So in this example, I'm saying marketing and AI. I want both of these keywords to be on the same profile to, for it to be returned in the results. If the profile only has one of those keywords, it's not gonna appear in the search results. So this is how we can start narrowing down the search. And I'm telling LinkedIn, okay, I want profiles that have marketing and AI and podcast in the profile. So it must have all three keywords for it to be returned in the search results. If one of them is missing, it's not gonna be appearing in the results. So again, it's a powerful way to start narrowing down our search. So the next, and let me just highlight again, it must be all caps, all caps and, okay? And then we move into exact phrase, which is quotation marks. So the way you think about this is you're telling LinkedIn, show me all profiles that have these consecutive keywords together in this specific order. In other words, whenever you have two or more keywords, just use quotation marks. So I'm telling LinkedIn, I'm looking for people in email marketing, okay? Because there are so many different, you know, marketing versions. There's email marketing, there's affiliate marketing. So whenever you have two or more keywords together, you want to use quotation marks. Otherwise, if you don't do this, it's gonna look for maybe affiliate partnerships and marketing training, but it's not looking for those two keywords together. So when you use quotation marks, you're really specifying that these keywords must be together in this order. So again, the way I want you to think about this, as long as you have two or more keywords, just always use quotation marks. So chief executive officer, business development manager. If it's multiple words, always use the exact phrase quotes to make sure they're being searched together in that order, okay? Now, then we have the operator not, again, all caps. And this basically means exclude. And you're telling LinkedIn, exclude all profiles with the following keywords. So whatever follows not is gonna be excluded in the search results. So I'm telling LinkedIn, okay, I'm looking for everyone in marketing, though don't show me anyone who has outbound on their profile. Meaning even if they had the marketing keyword on the profile, it's not gonna show up if they also have outbound. Because let's say in my case, I'm not looking for people doing outbound, okay? Another example, marketing, not called outreach. Meaning again, if they have called outreach somewhere in the profile, this is not gonna be delivered in the results. Now, I do have a caveat when it comes to the not operator. This oftentimes is buggy on LinkedIn. So even if you're using it correctly, LinkedIn sometimes doesn't apply it the way it should. And it honestly, I feel like it changes on a weekly basis. So I have just noticed that this is the one operator that doesn't always work perfectly and I kind of wanted to highlight that from the get-go, okay? And then we have the last operator, which is parentheses, which is how 
the search comes together and you get to use parentheses to get very specific with crafting a very detailed search to get the right people in the results. So when you're thinking about parentheses, you're basically telling LinkedIn, you want to perform these functions in parentheses first. So kind of similar to when we were doing our math problems in school. So let me actually visualize this for you. So let's say at the beginning, I'm looking to find business owners. So what I would be doing is saying, CEO or founder or president or managing director. And I'm putting this in parentheses, right? Because these are pretty much like, these are different ways of pretty much describing that same person, right? There are slight differences, but I'm pretty much looking for that level of person on LinkedIn. So I'm putting that in parentheses, that's the one thing. And then I'm saying, and content marketing or inbound marketing. Okay, so I want them to be entrepreneurs, CEOs, and I want them to be specializing in either content marketing or inbound marketing, one of those. And then I can layer this even further. Then I can say, and AI or artificial intelligence. So again, this person has to be a business owner who is specializing in content marketing, who is specializing also in AI, okay? So we start layering things down. This is starting to get very specific. And then at the end, I would say not, outbound or called outreach. So if those two keywords are somewhere in a profile, it's not gonna be delivered in the results. So what I'm hoping you are noticing here is that you can get incredibly specific with your searches to really find the perfect fit customer on LinkedIn. And what I wanna do right now is show you how this actually works in action. So let's head over to LinkedIn. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually copy this search we have created together. And now I'm heading over to LinkedIn and I'm gonna just put this in a simple search bar. So even if you have a free plan, you can use Boolean operators, though there is a caveat, which you're gonna see right now. So you can see we have this whole search in here. I'm gonna click enter and you're seeing no results found. And you might be like, why is this happening? So basically LinkedIn doesn't allow you to run very long Boolean searches in the free plan because they are incentivized to have you upgrade to LinkedIn premium. So again, Boolean operators work in a free plan though you're quite limited. So what I wanna do right now is head over to Sales Navigator and actually run our entire detailed search, which is the whole purpose of this. So right now, if I put this in the search bar up here and click search, you're going to see that our long search is gonna deliver 43,000 results. So you see how incredibly specific we got by using Boolean operators before we even applied any of the filters in Sales Navigator. And by the way, if you wanna learn more about how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator and whether it's actually worth the investment, I'm gonna link a video about that up here in the cards. Though what I wanna do right now with you is show you how you can start crafting Boolean searches to find your ideal clients. So let's do that together. So step number one for you is to actually find at least three profiles on LinkedIn of people who represent your ideal client avatar. So in this instance, I have pulled up Joe's profile and Joe is a good friend of mine, a business partner, an incredible soul, and like the go-to guy when it comes to all things AI. You definitely wanna give him a follow. Though once you have found the people who look like your ideal clients on LinkedIn, step number two for you is to extract the most important keywords from their profile. So let's do this one together. So I'm looking at Joe's profile, and my intention right now would be to find more people like Joe on LinkedIn. The way we do this is by really paying attention to what keywords Joe is using to describe himself. So first thing I'm noticing is email marketer, and I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna just basically put this in my Word doc, okay? So I'm trying to find keywords that he uses to describe himself. Then I'm seeing a keyword, AI architect. So I'm just gonna take AI, because that's already enough, so AI. Then I'm saying, what else is he mentioning? Again, AI results. So then you wanna keep scrolling through the profile and see what other words is Joe using to describe himself. So you could read the about section, you could take a look at the experience section, and the one thing I immediately see is that he says he's a founder, right? So again, if I wanna find more people like Joe, they are gonna call themselves founders or business owners. Then I can see more email marketing, email copywriting, maybe copywriting might be a good one to pull in here as well. Then co-founder, and I'm just very quickly scanning through this, though I encourage that you go in depth, you read every single section on someone's profile and pull out the main keyword someone uses to describe themselves. So let's just say in this case, we're gonna stick with this. So what I would do right now is start crafting a Boolean search from scratch. So I would say, okay, so if he calls himself a founder, I'm gonna be looking for people who are founders or owners or CEO or entrepreneur. 
perfect. And then I'm gonna say, and of course I can't spell this. <laughs> I can't even fix it, okay. Better. And then I'm gonna say, and I want them to be within and email marketing. I'm currently thinking what else is similar to email marketing. So it might be email automation. And then at the end, I'm gonna say, and AI. And the main thing I actually uh, missed is the copywriting. So it could be email marketing or email automation or copywriting. So this right now is a great start for a Boolean search. So I would just copy that. And again, I'm gonna head back over to Sales Navigator and I'm going to plug this in to find more people like Joe. I mean, obviously he's a special slow and special snowflake, though if I wanted to find someone similar, I'm running this search and I'm saying, what am I seeing in the results? Social media marketing. Okay, maybe I don't want people within social media. So then what I would start doing is also crafting the not search. Maybe I'm gonna say not social media. Like I really want you to be just an email marketer. The reason probably social media, by the way, is coming up because we have this copywriting, okay? Uh, in here. So I might just remove this and see if that starts delivering more people who are really specializing in email. Okay, so Cynthia is still coming up. So there is a good chance, I can see automation here. So there's a good chance she has email automation somewhere on her profile. And by the way, if you're not quite sure why a specific person is showing up in the search results and they don't represent your ideal client, just look at their profile and try to find keywords that you could use in the not section. So again, you're gonna say not and add all the keywords to exclude the people who are not your perfect fit clients. Now, if you found this video helpful, could you please, please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. We have a goal of hitting 100K subscribers on YouTube by the end of 2024, and I could so appreciate your support with this. If you are an entrepreneur looking to grow your business on LinkedIn, I also highly recommend that you check out my free mini training, Profile to Profit, down below, which is going to help you turn your profile from a resume into a client attraction magnet, which is very important when we start sending out connection invites on LinkedIn for them to actually get accepted. So again, there's a free training here down below which is going to help you optimize every single section on your profile from the banner headline to the featured and about section if you enjoyed this video i also highly recommend that you check out this video next on linkedin sales navigator and how to get even more specific with your searches thank you so much for being here and i'm going to catch you in this next video